Dr. Sinclair, as I look here, I'm seeing very cute little colored cubes. Well, these little cubes are actually the, the protein in our bodies that we believe controls the aging process. If he is right, Dr. David Sinclair has found one of the genetic keys that will reset our biological clocks. I think we've, we've passed a turning point in our, our understanding of the aging process. We found them by accident. We stumbled upon this molecule from red wine. And when I, I looked on the computer, what is this resveratrol, and found that it was in red wine, I almost fell off my chair. Because, of course, we all have heard that red wine is good for you. Just so happens, I have That's red wine. To your health. How much of this would I have to drink to really make a difference? Well, our experiments tell us probably about a thousand bottles a day. So that was not the solution. Dr. Sinclair then went back to the lab and found a way to make resveratrol 1,000 times more potent. So what does it do in the body? Well, what we have discovered is that resveratrol works on a gene which is called SIRT1, and this is a gene that controls the aging process. Resveratrol seeks out that gene and switches it on. And with that gene, activated in the mouse on the right by a high dose of resveratrol, she quickly turned into a mini Olympian, running twice as far as the untreated mouse on the left. They didn't get heart disease, cancer, even osteoporosis, and they lived 30% longer. Can you do this in humans? We have the same exact gene. And we think that resveratrol could have similar benefits in people.